Is it possible to catch mice with an empty wine bottle and an old pair of blue jeans? Well, today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a pretty simple DIY mousetrap made from items you probably already have around the house. Now, I first learned about this mousetrap from a YouTube viewer who sent me a link to a Facebook page. And there, the inventor claimed he was having success with this style of mousetrap. The idea is you fill the end of the bottle with peanut butter, it's suspended over the water on the bucket, the mice will smell the bait, climb up the blue jeans, go over the duct tape and rim of the bucket, and out on the bottle. At first, it's pretty wide and they feel safe, but as they go out more, the bottle narrows, it becomes slippery, they lose their balance and fall down. One after another, you can catch the mice. It looks like a very simple trap to build. I'm gonna cut a hole in the bucket with a Dremel tool, duct tape the bottle in place with the jeans, and then test it out. First, we'll test it out with our pet mice, and then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see how many wild mice we can get. Let's go build the trap. Well, it is a very easy trap to build. We'll fill the end with peanut butter. I might even put some on the bottom to tempt them to go down below. It looks like it might work. Let's get our pet mice. Go for the peanut butter. Hey, bottles are very slippery. Mice have a hard time holding on. I think it's gonna work. Our pet mice drop down in the bucket now let's go set it up with motion cameras in the barn and see how many wild mice we can get in the bucket. Good job. Well, they're trying to escape by digging or jumping out. Last night, we didn't catch every mouse in the barn, but we did get two. One mouse we caught exactly how we thought we would. It went out there, ate the peanut butter, and on the way back, it slipped and fell down. But the other mouse was a different story. It was a battle between two mice, one with better balance that held on, and one that tried to get the bait but got pushed down there. Now, these are non-native invasive mice, so I can't just let them go. Instead, we're gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys these two mice as a nice evening snack.
Well, based off the trail camera footage, we saw some great examples of how nature can be pretty brutal. First, we saw a mouse push his friend down in the trap, and then we saw a pair of skunks fighting over food, and when they fight, they bite each other in the rear end. That's not where I'd want to bite a skunk, but I guess that's how they fight. Overall, this wine bottle trap worked pretty well, but there were mice who learned how to beat it. If they have great balance, they'd go out there, eat the bait, and then go back. There are a few tricks I thought of to make it better. Maybe we could rub it in oil, maybe peanut oil, or mount it where it's slightly angled down, making it harder to go back up. If you have any suggestions on how to make the wine bottle trap better, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to all the Patreon members who recently joined. I'm posting new exclusive content every week, so if you're curious, check it out. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.